Welcome back to White Mountains Livestock. In this episode, we're just going to take you out finally out to the garden, show you what's going on out there, and show you all the plants that got lost in the last freeze we had. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Welcome back to White Mountains Livestock. Hey, if you're new around here, I want to say welcome. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let us know you're here. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to take you over to the garden. If you notice, we're in a whole different part of the property right now. We're going to take you over here to the garden. Peas are coming up real good, but unfortunately, last night, below freezing. Had a couple of nights like that. Everything else, the carrots, the spinach, and the onions dead the cantaloupe everything we had in the cups gone yeah sucks doesn't it so i right, told so we're gonna replant adapt and overcome right all right so here we go i'm gonna grab this phone and we're gonna wobble around a little bit so here's what we got going on right now i got some wood strung out over here working on a new chicken coop don't mind all that so here's the garden um Got a whole mess of weeding to do on that far side, which we don't have anything planted in so far. Uh, right now, everything is right here. We got these peas rolling in real nice and pretty. Coming in pretty good. So we got some peas coming in. Got a whole string of them down there. Now, unfortunately, over here, we had onions, or I'm sorry, spinach onions and carrots but we got nothing these last couple of colds really got us no fence up right now um i'm hoping to get that done at some point uh we do have some fresh rabbit droppings in here which you know i'm not too worried about that rabbit droppings great for the garden uh if they all want to come over here do their business and leave the veggies alone then i'm okay with that um have found a few areas of some small uh rat droppings so not looking forward to getting that one uh, to that got to get that dealt with as you can see the posts and all that stuff all the little stakes and i wouldn't really call them posts aren't exactly straight i ain't worried about that right now because i ain't got no fence to go up so uh, those two far stakes way out there, uh, pieces of wood sticking up. Originally, that was going to be the end of the garden. Uh, but we decided this year, because we're in such a rough area, uh, this has never been planted before. So uh, this is a lot of the material that we're getting. It's just this real sandy, you know. So we got a whole mess of horse manure tilled up into here. And I got to get some more back here on this back end, but... So we decided that because of that, um, we weren't going to go out this far. I mean, this is what we started with. It's all just this this sandy, just horrible stuff. Um, but we wanted to do it on the cheap. So because of that, we didn't buy any potting soil or topsoil or any of that stuff. We took this sandy dirt and threw some horse manure in it. Um, with some rabbit manure unfortunately though through the winter uh, our rabbits did not make it uh, which sucked loved them great meat by the way if you've never had rabbit i highly suggest it um we are getting some more coming in uh hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh start getting them bred out again i gotta rebuild one of the hutches but we do have some chicks. We got little baby chickens. I can't remember if I showed you guys that in the last video or not. Uh, we actually got them over here. We got a rabbit hutch with a double bay in it. Uh, we pulled the divider out to give our breeder a little more room. But we got chicks. Little baby chickens. Now we got a double set. We got the fencing around here. We got them in a uh, planting crate. That way they've got a solid bottom. 
Uh, we did go ahead and put a piece of uh, plywood down here on the bottom since this is just a wire ba uh, bottom. If they do get out of there, we don't want their feet falling through and them hurting themselves. So, in here, there's five of the little rascals. We had six originally. One of them was born a little bit, um, let's say, worse for wear. Didn't quite make it. Um, before we got him moved out here for this brooder, he, uh, he lost it. But, so they are about a week or, well, about two weeks old right now. I've got three more eggs in the incubator right now. Um, just that, uh, have about six days or so left on them until they should start hatching. Kind of looking forward to seeing what we get out of them. Anyway. So that's what's been going on. We got a couple trees going to go in, some fruit trees, that kind of stuff. But that's the garden. Uh, ain't much right now. Um, hopefully, you know, over time we can get that soil nice and fertile. Um, expand what we're growing. I still have, um, I've got some more cantaloupe and stuff like that that I'm going to replant. Probably going to wait till June. Uh, you know, it's May 18th right now. And last night we got down to about 29 to 30 degrees. Um... So we're going to adjust a little bit. Uh, apparently farmer's almanac is not all that it's cracked up to be. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> Never have been. I'm used to raising the livestock, not the stuff that the livestock eats. Um, so this is a whole new one for me. Usually my wife does it. Anyway, that's what we got. Uh, we still got corn going in. We're going to replant the cantaloupe. Uh, we're going to replant some more spinach and that stuff come uh, next month. Uh, probably here in about three, four weeks. Um, I'm going to make sure we're staying above 40. I know, it's almost June and we're still dipping down below freezing. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for this one. But you know what? Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. Like I said in the beginning, if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share the video. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys are planting this season. What vegetables you guys got going for your families, all right? Look forward to reading them. And right now, I can respond to all of them. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all take care.